What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can enable drag and drop onto the Windows 11 start bar. As you probably know, this feature has been disabled for some odd reason or another, and you're not able to use it anymore. For an example, I'll open up File Explorer, minimize it and make a new folder or item on my desktop. Then I'll try and drag it to my start bar. And usually on Windows 10, you can hover over the File Explorer, pick the right window and boom, drop it into the application. But here you're not able to, as Microsoft have decided, uh, no, you can get this back very simply with an open source piece of software without having to wait for Windows or Microsoft to add it back. This is something they're apparently planning to add back. Why they took it away, who knows? Anyways, in the description down below, you'll find a GitHub link. Heading across to this GitHub link, you can read about the project, how to configure it, etc. But on the right hand side, Look for releases and click this one over here, the latest release. Otherwise, click releases just above that and scroll up to the very top. We'll find the latest version. Simply click the EXE here to download it. And all we have to do is open it up and run it. But if you see an error like this, make sure to tell your browser to keep the file, then show more, keep anyways, and open it. If you receive an error that looks something like this, don't worry, on the main page here, they do talk about this. All you have to do is click this link here, on the main page, I just went back a page and download and install the Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 runtimes. So click it and follow through with the steps on screen. Then open it once again. Now this time, nothing will happen. All you have to do is click the icon on the bottom right and you should see a Mona Lisa icon here. This is the Windows 11 drag and drop to the taskbar fix program. Right clicking, we get some options here, but regardless, if we try and drag a file back down there, you'll see it then shows up and picks the program for us where we're now allowed to drop it in. Of course, this will work with basically any program here and it makes life a hell of a lot simpler. This works by emulating the Start T button, which will let you cycle through open windows on your computer. I assume while you're dragging it, it presses Start and T for you and you can drag over the right program and drop it in. Relatively simple. Now, of course, that's practically it. As long as that program's running, you'll be able to use it. But there is a way to configure this in a custom way so you can get more control over it. Right clicking the icon, configure, you'll see this text document here that should be empty and it opens up the configuration page. As you can see over here, the first option is start up with Windows. If you have a look inside of the file, this is automatically here. Changing this from one to zero, saving it will make it not start with Windows in the future. There are a bunch of other options here, such as show console window on startup, print debug info, show tray icon, use the new best method, etc., etc. There are quite a few options here. Eventually, when you do save the file, you'll see this pop up here. All you have to do is click yes and you're done. Now to uninstall it, all you have to do is quit out of the program and make sure that you delete the shortcut here. It's recommended that you open up the configuration document for it, change this to a zero, open up the program if you have it closed or simply tell it to reload from the configuration and exit out of it again. This way it won't try and start with Windows even though it's not there at all. Deleting the files from your downloads folder, you're done. That's basically it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobahir for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.